Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Morning Cup with Keith. This is Keith Neal, your creativity coach. And to talk about, I'm talking about taking ownership, just continuing that theme and how, and just be a leader and not a loser. And what does that mean exactly? So I'll start with gr what a great leader is. So great leaders are constant, so they're not complacent. They're genuine, curious. They're gonna create and articulate their clear vision. They're gonna be empathetic and surround themselves with experts. And they will focus on outcomes, not credit. <clears throat> and they're not gonna waver on ethics and they will show vulnerability and they'll want others to succeed, to succeed and assist them in doing so. <clears throat> so that's a leader. What a loser is, is gonna be someone who's gonna blame other people. It's, it's gonna come to a point of like a victimization. Um, it's gonna say that these other people are the problem when the problem might be you. You might be the problem. You might be the reason why things are failing around you when you're not taking ownership. Now, from on a small scale, when we look at doing your own thing, if you're going to go into a rant of victimization and, and attacking other things and that are, oh, they're getting in my way or that's happening and that's stopping me from doing this, you're being a loser. <clears throat> I just be blunt. And so you want to be all these things that a great leader is. You want to work towards them. If you if you don't have them all, it doesn't matter. You know, you're not gonna be a great leader right out the door. Or right out right out right out the bat there. You're not gonna be a great leader. But be cons you know, don't be complacent. Don't just sit on the sidelines. <clears throat> be constant, be moving but have that purpose behind that moving. Whatever you do or you say, be genuine about it. Don't be fakey, don't don't um, <clears throat> be insincere in, in what you are trying to convey. Curious means that you're continually learning. You're curious about the topic or the subject you're working towards and to be curious, continually curious in that. When you, when you're going to be sharing your vision, be be articulate and clear about it. What is your vision? What are you doing? I mean, do we, do you know? Is it clear to you? <clears throat> Being ap empathetic is to have empathy, show empathy to uh, to others, and really include them in whatever you're doing, whatever you are doing. Know that that it is that everyone's included and you, you're empathetic to those people. <clears throat> Surround yourself with experts. So don't be the Lone Ranger or don't try and get go out there where you're thinking you're the know-it-all, you're the top, you know everything. <clears throat> you don't. And you need to surround yourself with experts and be humble. Eat a little bit of that humble pie, so to speak. Focus on outcomes. So what's the outcome? What are you planning to do? You know, be a problem solver and work on that outcome. And then don't then don't step back and take all this credit for it. Maybe these experts that you're with, they're going to get credit, <clears throat> the credit that they deserve because they worked hard. Don't waver on your ethics. What are your ethics? Write them down. What do you believe in for for what what these ethics are? And don't waver from them. Be vulnerable, you know, be okay with the idea that you don't know it all and you still got a lot to learn. I, I was just listening to a message from my pastor talking about that on how vulnerability is a good thing and how, you know, he doesn't have it all together either, but it doesn't mean he can't be the pastor or a leader. As a leader, you can still not know it all and show your vulnerability and still be a great leader.
and others succeeding. Well, that's a big goal. That's the, that's the reason why we're here <clears throat> is for others to succeed. The best saying I've heard is when the master is teaching the student and then the student becomes the master after that. Now, a great master will continue and continue to be a master in whatever they're doing. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the student is going to overwhelm that master, but that's how you teach them as though they would be the master, but they'd be a master on their own. So then you'd have then two masters being able to communicate in their, in their mastery. <clears throat> and assist people so work with them <clears throat> when you're doing it i'm going to take a quick sip this is a morning wake up <clears throat> let's clear those allergies away there assist them you know don't give them just part of your knowledge unravel that knowledge to them on how they can take it how much they can take and then just unravel that and give that a system in doing what they <clears throat> what they need help with. And and that's again, that's a great leader. Those are great leaders. And the loser is the opposite of all of that. Really, when it comes down to it. We unfortunately seen that televised. I won't go into detail on what that was. <clears throat> because I don't want to date this video. But we see that on television and we see that unfortunately um, highlighted into a way that's just so destructive for that person and so destructive for what their um, what their group is, what their cabinet is. <clears throat> and so you don't want to, you want to be a great leader. You don't want to be a loser, a loser is going to then lose everything for that group of everybody that stands with them. So take ownership and be a great leader, not a loser. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back on here again soon. All right. Take care.